Hello, hello, hello. So for those of you I haven't said Happy New Year to, Happy New Year. Happy 2024. I feel it. I feel it, feel it deep down. I feel it. Um, we're going to be going from strength to strength. There's going to be some upsets. There's going to be some, some things that are shocking. And that's all coming. But the end of it is getting closer and closer to freedom. Freedom from those people who are playing puppeteers with our government. We're going to be good. It's all going to be good. So um, that's what I'm feeling. But at the moment, I feel the world is under it's under attack at the moment. And um, this is all linking to um, the cabal saying, if you don't do this, then we're going to do that. And um, our people, the white hat people that are helping us are saying, no deal. Uh, we're not going to be blackmailed. And so we're having to cope with you know what's going on okay so yeah it's not it's not an easy time but um i do i do feel that that's that we're going in the better direction for sure so ignore old mo bless him what are you going to do don't shove your bum in the in the, the camera anyway <laughs> so um cat, don't, they say don't feel with cats or with animals or with um with children that's what they say don't they yeah so yeah astrology readings so we're going to do this in the order we haven't done the air signs for quite some time okay first so we're going to do the air signs first and then we're going to do the water signs okay and then we're going to do the fire signs and then we'll do the earth signs okay so that is going to be the order okay that's going to be the order so Mo, what are you doing? Is needing, you know, and they need to get comfortable. That's what he's doing. Um, yeah, it's been cold. It's been really cold here in the UK. Really not nice. Um, not nice weather, wet, cold. Um, what is it like with you guys? Um, you know, do you feel as if they're effing about with the weather a bit? I think so. Um, there seems to be a lot of uh, flooding and things like that else around and I and um, you know fires and things so my heart goes out to anybody that that has um, that's been affected by that absolutely if there is anybody about who would like to go on our new healing list um, this healing goes out many many times a day just waves and waves of healing and everybody who sees this healing list is also sending waves of healing out so it started off with kind of just a few names on it and it's grown um, so we've got this one, okay, if you want to see if your name's on there. Um, some of these are pets as well, okay. So this is sending healing there. Um, we started a new one up as well. So this one also, she too has started up. So if there is anybody, please reach out to me um, at, if you wanted to um, have your name on there. It could be emotionally, physically, kind of un somebody under mental strain, somebody worrying about money. Um, it's like um, a healing wish list, if you like. So, yeah, just uh, just let me know. Um, there is um, a few things I wanted to discuss. I just wanted to say thank you so much to all my Patreons. Um, let me, I haven't amended this, so there's been a few changes, but mainly this is um, the Patreons here. So I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you guys who have been supporting me. Um, it means I can do these um, videos. There is still an offer for all Patreons. It's um, only $65 for an hour reading. So if anybody wants to take me up on that, they're welcome too. Uh, but that is for Patreons. Okay. Um, I'm going to actually put on, let me write myself a note, so hopefully by the time this video goes out there, it will have done it as well. So obviously that's 65, so I'm going to do a 30 minute one for $30, okay. The prices have gone up on my website, I'm really sorry, but um, you know, it's like everything's going up, isn't it? So I've just done it by $5, um, yeah, just $5 on each each of them. Um, it obviously you can save money if you've already had a reading with me you can click the the rebook 
okay so the rebook ones you know it just means um you get it you know a bit cheaper just for me to say thank you to you yeah um so yeah thank you to all of these wonderful people here okay i appreciate you very much okay um also i was i've been doing a lot of readings uh, for people who I mean, for years I've been doing this since I've I come on to in 5D, met Greg and doing readings for you, wonderful people. For people all over the world, I went from doing readings in my little shop <laughs> to um, to being thrown onto the internet and doing them all over the. And I I couldn't be happier. You know, I like I like both. I like to be kind of in the community and helping the community, but I also like uh, this as well. But you you got to go where you are, where where you're drawn to, okay? Um, but um, so this is this is just it makes my heart sing to be joined with you guys. But I think we should start a little network, you know, of people who are in different states, okay? So that's what that's what my next list is going to be. So I'm going to add people to those lists. Okay, and um, let's start Facebook pages, okay, for these different states. Um, you know, I know this is America, but we can do it in England as well. So it could be, you know, different towns or that sort of thing for here in England. Because you guys, you feel as if you want to you wanna, um, talk to and have other people of like-mindedness to communicate with, maybe to meet up, you know, sometimes. That's kind of what what you want, um, but and it's really difficult. It's lonely, okay, being spiritual, awake and aware, as well. So, um, so maybe you know, if anyone's got any ideas about how we can do that, how we can go about doing that, then please let me know, okay? Um, yeah, let me know. So, um, I think um, I think it's going to be a bit difficult to do twelve different. We could start a Facebook page, like an in 5D, unless Greg's got one already. If he's got one already, but I don't want to have to bother him. So I might have to start another one for spiritual people. But it could be, we could still have the in 5D. Yeah, I'm just chucking it out there. Just chucking it out there, what we can do. Because you guys need to meet up. I really feel as if you need to meet, meet up and, and communicate and, and connect. Yeah, and I want to help. All right, so there's that. Okay, I did the marathon readings yesterday. Wow. <laughs> wow, it was busy. It was busy, but I loved it. I loved it. I really did. It was, um, you know, this is the marathon reading kind of sheet that I did. Okay, so it's like 12 hours. I started in the UK. We started at 2 p.m. through to 2 a.m. Um and uh, that was two, sorry, 9 a.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. Eastern. So I still had one slot left right at the end there. Um, but, you know, those those were the readings. My goodness, um, I had a lovely time. I really did. So um, so I'd have 30 minute reading, then 30 minute off, 30 minute reading, 30 minute off right the way through. Some people booked double slots. So. Um, but that that was okay, and we did it. I did those for twenty pounds. That's about twenty four dollars. Okay, so it was so popular. We was turning people away because obviously people who, you know, there was a slot there, but not everybody could do that one. Um, so um, what Greg and I was talking about is maybe doing another one for me and Greg. Um, so get a reading with me and Greg. Um, you'd have a little bit from Greg, a little bit from me. Um, and we're going to do that on the 27th, I believe it is. Let me just double check. I think we're doing it on the 27th of January. Saturday, yes, yeah, Saturday the 27th of January. Okay, so if you want to get in there early and book one in, um, then obviously you just tell us the tell us the um, times the the time slot. OK, that's easiest, because if you say, say, I want to book 1, 8, 1 p.m., you're going to then have to say it's Eastern, it's Pacific, it's, you know, so just give us a time slot. OK, um, Ali, I want to book a uh, time slot 10 or Ali, I want to book time slot 6. 
you know so um so do that um and you can contact greg on his pages okay you can contact greg or you can contact um me on the website um if we're friends on facebook contact me on on um alison james psychic alley um on facebook i've got cat hairs now in my lipstick <laughs> I love, I love them. I love those pets. So anyway, if you, anybody wants to be added to the healing list, if anyone wants to be added to the marathon one, and I will start one up for America as well. I will. Yeah. Um, I think let's get together for 2024. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Let's bring about some love, vibrations of love all over the world. I think that'd be amazing. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to everybody. Okay. Right, let's get moving, moving on. This is actually the second video. I started this video just now. <laughs> but Mo, mm, yeah, Mo. <laughs> Mo decided that he was going to, um, yeah, he, he messed up with the camera, um, all the audio when everything just went, went kaput. So we're doing air signs, water signs, fire signs, and earth signs. Was that right? Is that how it went? Anyway, I can't remember. I can't remember how, what we said now, but um, we're going to do it like that. So sorry to confuse. So air signs, then water signs, then fire signs. No, it wasn't. I remember now. So sorry, everybody. So sorry, so sorry. I remember it was um, air signs, fire signs, earth signs, water signs. I think if I've got it wrong, apologize, but that's what we're gonna, we're gonna settle with that. Yeah. Okay, let's get moving, moving, moving on. Okay, so Aquarius is going to start at 12.30, 12 minutes 30, 12 minutes 30. Let's find the little banner banner for Aquarius. There we go. So, yeah, this is going to be for the 8th through to the 14th of January 2024. Okay, let's put some positivity in this next week for Aquarius. Um, this will, can resonate with you as well, even if you're not Aquarius, even if you haven't got Aquarius in your chart, it doesn't matter. Um, my guides will deliberately add in information that, that is for you, you who who is watching, whoever you are, okay? So open your mind up and accept, um, bring it on in, uh, bring it on in. Okay, Aquarius, wonderful Aquarians. So next week's going to start with a bit of, as most people are, <laughs> juggling time, energy, money, juggling your um, your emotions, um, making sure that everybody is okay, you know, rearranging what you're going to do. Um, so yeah, this um, I can't get away from that as pentacles, but look, they're juggling, they're juggling money, juggling time. Okay, that's obvious, I know, but I can't help the card. Okay, we've then got the Queen of Pentacles. Now she's my like Virgo character. Um, so you're going to be someone is acting like a Virgo, and now this to me is about planning ahead, making plans, planting seeds that are going to grow later on that is to do with earning more money so if you put the um effort in now it will take off so that is to do with um studying learning development um getting confident with the gifts that you have um to make yourself go professional to push yourself into doing um so much more than you you that you're actually capable of that you're actually doing so yeah it's confidence building that's what you've decided to do, Aquarians. Now, Aquarians have a quirky sort of character. Um, they're always they're always kind of like got that 
quick smirky kind of thing like a, a banter or one liners usually um, and uh, I can see that in the household there seems to be a lot of that um, like a bit teasing here and there with everybody I'm seeing some changes in the house so I feel as if there's some work being done okay and now that work for some people might be big DIY jobs and for other people it might be just tidying up changing the room rounds a little bit um you know choosing different color schemes but yeah I'm seeing as if I want a fresh start I want things different okay and I feel organization skills are really coming about Aquarians Okay, so you've got the world card, the one of the best cards in the deck, the world card for the middle of this next week. Um, alongside the Ace of Cups, which is overflowing of emotions. Um, alongside this, you know, this is a bit one sided. Do I love you more than you love me? Or am I showing you more love and appreciation and respect than you are me? You know, is this a one sided friendship? Is this a one sided relationship? Is this one sided work situation? So either way, that's what you're working out at the moment. Um, and you're not afraid at this moment to admit that's what it feels like. I'm not go I'm not afraid to admit where I might have to change tactics or pull off the brakes a little bit. Whereas, you know, I would be full on there and I would be, you know, unconditional love here and that sort of thing. But, yeah, I feel that some people are going to deserve your love, devotion and time and energy. And there's other people that just aren't cutting it. OK, so I do feel, you know, this is really bizarre because I told you this is my second video. I had to delete the last one because of Mo. OK, the couldn't get the camera going uh, nothing nothing works so but this is how the cards work and how how wonderful they are this is saying the same thing it's a little bit fluffier <laughs> uh, than it was um before a little bit fluffier but it's still saying the same thing cutting away the dead ends and um and renewing things now i'm going to tell you that i think this is going to be the common theme throughout all of these readings okay um because of the time of year this is what your guides want you to do okay is uh, to it's about self-respect and about kindness kindness to others self-respect for yourself so um you're also shining the light out so the single people out there i'm seeing the beacon of love going out now in a few readings that i was doing yesterday with them um, you know those 12 readings um there was a lot of kind of questions on love life and my guides instantly said to me there was a you know buy a candle now obviously buy a candle that represents to you love so whether or not that's um you know rose quartz or whether or not that is um any other candle okay but it's to buy a candle or a really pretty candle holder. And you light it just as you're going to bed. Now, you don't leave it on overnight or anything like that. I'm not suggesting that. But you're kind of saying to the universe, you're saying, this beacon of light goes out and it's a, it's a light bringing in what you want. So if, say, you want more money, OK, more opportunities, more finances, then it's a lovely green candle, green for love or earthly, like browns and, and things like that. If you're wanting new friendships, then it's orange. OK, orange. If you feel as if you're getting hurt quite a lot and people are, you know, getting at you, then it's yellow um, because that's your solar plexus, yellow. Um, if it's to do with your heart and healing the heart, then that would be green as well. Um, so, yeah. And pink is obviously for love, too. Um, if you're fr frightened to speak out, you need to get more vocal, then it's blue. This is the, the uh, blue chakra, OK, the throat chakra. Um, so that blue could be light blue, darker blue. Um, light blue would say that you're trying to be more delicate with your voice. Um, if you want to be more 
active busy voice, then it's darker blue, okay? Um, and then um, there's the third eye, which I always think is purple, purpley color. Um, you can think whatever you want with your third eye. Okay, and then you've got your crown, which I think is a spectrum of all colors, um, usually white or whichever color you want. Okay, so yeah, it's it's like fulfill of all of it. So, you know, choose your candle for what it is your intentions are. Light your candle once again. Feel the gratitude in your heart for what you already have. I'm just doing it now. Feel the energy change. And then say to the universe, bring in to me what it is I want. Bring it, bring it in, bring it in. So let's do a bit of candle affirmations here. Um, and I really feel as if that's the way they want to work with us, um, spirit. So take charge of it rather than say, oh, I hope this is going to happen. Or I hope, it's like, no, let's take charge. Let's know our power and bring it about. Okay, so um, so yeah, by the end of next week uh, for Aquarians, there's holding back of anger, resentment and uh, temper. There is somebody around you who I don't like their energy. I don't like the way they've treated people. I don't like what they what they represent. And I'm feeling as if I'm trying to hold it together and not not um, blow my top. But um, this person does deserve it. I've got to say to you, this person does deserve it. Um, so you're trying to see things from their point of view um, from the point of view of other people as well, um, you know, and uh, that's uh, that's hard to do sometimes when you really feel as if that person just has no good in their heart at all. Um, the hardest thing to do is to push love out there as well um, with them. Um, the other thing that we can think of doing when we feel that we want more. Um, so some people that are kind of toxic, like what I'm picking up here. Um, why don't you try the freezer magic? Um, so what you do is you write their name down on the tiniest, tiniest bit of paper, tiniest bit of paper. I mean, unless you're drawn to do a big bit of paper, of course, but I would kind of go just a tiniest bit of paper like that and then write their name down. If you can do it backwards, even better, okay? But write their name down. Don't do it with hate in your heart. You have to do it with love. You have to say, I don't want him in my life. I want him out of my life. Okay, so, so that's the intention. And then you screw it up into a tiniest, tiniest little ball. Tiniest little ball. And then put it in the back of your freezer and say, I freeze this person out of my life with love. And then that's it. You get on with your day. You let it happen. And you'll find that that person probably won't bother you much anymore. Um, you might not bump into them if you live near them, um, or they'll decide to move away, um, or you'll move, move away, you know, onto better, in better terms. So, yeah, it kind of uh, does its job. So, hmm. Yeah, so the end of the week, I feel as if it's it's about um, trying not to lose your temper or you're trying to stop someone else maybe losing their temper, Aquarians, at the end of the week. Everything's a bit upside down. Somebody's deliberately tampering with things. And um, I really feel as if, um, you know, the, the, the freeze thing might work for you. OK, so anyway, um, that is for you. That's for Aquarius. OK. So let's look at Geminis, okay? Geminians, what's going on with you? Let's do the timestamp 2410. We'll do 2410, okay? Let me tune in now. Lovely. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm recording this one today. Um, usually I go live with them, but um, it's kind of late. It's like five o'clock. So I needed to do this quickly. So, yeah. All right. So um, I've got um, this to me feels as if I've got I'm studying. I want to learn new skills. Um, I want development. I want to expand my knowledge. 
you know, if I'm asking questions, then I'm going to find the answers to. Um, there's someone around um, this at Gemini's who is feeling unwell or is feeling um, quite low in the energy. And I want to wrap them up in cotton wool. But what I also want to do with them is say, let's give you some hope back for your future. Let's plant some seeds that say, I've got something, something to live for. I've got I've got lots to lots to do. I've got lots to offer. Let's find your your life path. You know, when anybody is asking me to do a career or life path reading, um, the first thing that we do is we say, what what did you like doing as a child? What was your go to thing? What was your go to thing? Was it working with animals? Was it working with children? Did you like your dollies and and that? Um, did you like kind of like healing and and uh, wrapping wrapping up and caring for things? Um, did you like the outdoors? Did you like kind of um, you know playing in the woods and building camps and things? So a lot of the time it gives you a little hint. You are so close to um, the memory of what your life path you agreed to do. So it goes to show that you know your the way to look uh, get to give you a hint of what it is that you're supposed to be doing is to go back into your childhood um so and i think that's what you're going to be doing here uh gemini's with this one person i'm feeling as if they've either had an operation or they've been feeling very fragile okay fragile um upset maybe um, you know, something's happened. Because so I feel as if I want to wrap them up in one of those, you know, those that I bought when my mum won, um, one of those, they're kind of a blanket coat, okay, that you have at home. And it is a blanket in itself. And it, you just sit yourself in it and it's just, you go about with this coat on. Um, it's wonderful. So, you know, duvet day, duvet day, definitely for you guys. Um, your psychic ability you're going to find is going to get stronger and stronger. OK, I can say that to everybody um, that is watching this as well. Watch out for those because the it's going up notches. OK, they're not just going to do it a little bit. It's going to be a lot. So watch out for that. Um, if you're starting to look at colour differently, um, you might see kind of auras around people. You might kind of have a message that comes into your head that is like randomly not yours. OK, so watch out for these things. Um, but yeah, I feel as if um, whilst you're not feeling great, I feel as if your mind is very active on learning new skills and developing um, your knowledge. Um, by the middle of next week, there's going to be a lovely surprise linking with finances or stability security. It's like, oh, wow, that's good. Um, I wasn't expecting that. That's great. So lovely sunshine moment and money security. Um, then we've got the chariot. Another chariot is about um, travel. Um, it can be about um, deciding which direction you're going to go in and there being a celebration around, you know, the fact that you've decided. Um, looking at, you've been weighing things up with the pros and the cons and weighing it up. And now it's like I'm going forward. And, you know, the universe is saying you have chosen the exact right pathway, the exact right timing. Everything is looking really, really good. OK, and, uh, you know, you don't get those two cards together very often. OK, this indicates financial security. OK, ten of pentacles. And this could be emotional security, financial security. And then the sun card, one of the best cards in the deck, sun and the world. OK, along with the chariot, which is movement, movement forward. Good for you. OK, so by the end of the week, you've got the Ace of Swords, which is ideas, inspiration, downloads. OK, you've got another eight. You had the eight already um, with the um, with the study. You've now got the eight linked with travel movement. Um, so the eight of wands is about maybe going on a journey. OK, you've also had the chariot, which can also mean a journey. So are you going on holiday? Are you talking about holidays? Are you getting excited about a holiday? 
um, you know, vacation, sorry, uh, for you guys in America, um, it's time to break free from everything that seems to be so heavy. Okay, now if you can't afford um, an actual holiday, um, maybe you just want to go um, on little short kind of trips or vacations, you know, close to home, just going to um, a bed and breakfast, you know, just a bit out of town um, so that you can, you know, attend, you know, this uh, nice day out. So, yeah, it's like we all need some hope and we all need to look for something that is going to bring our, our self that joy, happiness um, along with it. OK, so that's what I see for Gemini's. OK. So Libras now. OK, so let's have a little look. Um, I'm trying to break in my new cosmic deck. OK, this is my old one. You probably have seen. I've had to paint around the edge of them <laughs> because they have, um, yeah, they've got so, so dirty and so and uh, so frayed and stuff around the edges. They're so old. They're about, I don't know, 30 years old. I don't know how old they are. They're at least 20 uh, for sure. I don't know. Um, so so really, I've got to get a new deck. But this is going to build up energy for it first. So, um, so yeah, I'll be swapping back backwards and forwards with these. OK. So Libras, this is for my love. He's a triple Libra. Hey, my darling. Um, Red Crest got blessing. Just spoke to him just now. Um, yeah, he's putting out more videos and things, so keep a tune out on in 5D. Okay. And uh, so he's also starting to do readings now. So if you want a reading with Greg, you can go to the website in 5D and there's information on there about his intuitive reading. So you get a bit of therapy with it because he's got background in family and child therapy. So you get that too. All right. So Libra, Libra, Libra. Eight through to the 16th. Leap of faith. Here we go. It's like, let's go. This is the charge forward into 2024. Um, and very determined, not holding anything back been a bit bored and restless i've been looking for some sort of challenge so i feel as if you're looking for uh, something a bit different and um, so it's still uh, not taking away all the things that you're going to do that you've already got planned um and you're going to be finishing those projects as well not just um starting them um yeah you're going to be finishing those as well but these are new projects you're looking for new adventure okay new hobbies maybe um, is going to be uh, coming on. Um, there are people around you who you've kind of like stopped the communication with, and I don't feel this is a bad thing. I just feel as if um, sometimes we're just withdrawing away a little bit, um, and that is, you know, people who we can't be our true selves with, um, you know, it becomes harder and harder to be around them as they find it harder and harder to be around our crazy. <laughs> so we're seeing the world how it really is and they're seeing it how the telly wants you to believe it is and of course that clashes so there is a divide there unfortunately it won't always be there because disclosure and the truth is coming out so much um, and it's going to continue okay to come out in 2024. So you're having to look at things from a different angle regarding a female around. And I feel this female is a motherly character, a nurturer. OK, so if they're not your mum, then they would be a nurturing person, a person who wants to take care of everybody. Um, and I feel as if this um, nurturing energy, I'm trying to look at things from a different angle. I don't know what their I don't know what their problem is or I don't know where they're going with that questions, questions, questions. Um, and uh, there is a need for more security. It's like, why can't I get more security from you? What is going on? You know, so somebody's pointing the finger at another, because they're not caring enough, because they're not doing what they should be doing. Okay, so sometimes our expectations go down the toilet, um, time and time and time again. And it does make us weary 
um, because, and sooner or later we get to a stage where you think, I'm just not going to expect a single thing from you. All right, you just do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. And, uh, you know, and it feels as if it's like taking charge of that and, and stopping with the expectations actually helps us immensely and brings us more security, brings us more kind of wisdom. And watch that um, appreciation energy then coming in to your life, okay, because it will now. Okay, I'm seeing somebody um, being taught new things, and I feel this is this is an on-job thing. So this is like um, if you're already working, this would be you're going to be trained in doing this now, or if you're self-employed, it's like I'm going to put another string to my bow, and I'm going to add on this um, so that I can earn maybe more money or help more people, okay, with what I'm doing, um, and. Uh, yeah, it's lots of planning, lots of paperwork. I'm seeing writing down. Um, I'm seeing studying, um, really using my mind to expand things. Um, and again, this is going to help because I've distanced myself from um, a group of people or maybe somebody very special. You know, things haven't been going well between us. And uh, I'm just going to throw myself into this. Um, into this new kind of energy, this new project, um, and uh, it's going to help me clear um, my energy. So um, that's what I feel when I get into um, Libra. I do have Libra rising in my um, astrology as well, so um, you should really be looking up um, your sun, moon, and rising signs as well, because that will help um, you, because it's Sometimes, you know, we look at things and we think I'm more like a, I don't know, a Sagittarius than I am a Pisces or a, a Libra rather than a Taurus, you know. Um, so, yeah, there might be a reason for it. So sometimes we have to have a little look and check in. All right. So we're going to be doing the fire signs now. So this will be Leo, then Sagittarius, Aries. After that, we'll be doing the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn finishing off with Scorpio, Pisces and Cancerians. Okay, so this is 37, 25, we'll say. Okay, so let's go to lovely, lovely Leos. Okay, so for Leos, fiery, spontaneous kind of energies with, with Leos. I'm seeing them kind of going, where's the party at? Where's the party at? Where's the action? Oh, God, this is boring me. I can't be here anymore. You know, I, I don't get what they're saying. Let's go party. Let's go do something. Uh, so Leos are usually kind of, you know, um, full of life. OK, full of life. Or they can then go lazy, full of life, lazy. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, sometimes that's a typical Leo, but not might not be you if you're a Leo. It might be You've got other traits as well mixed in. All right. So let's concentrate on Leo's for the 8th through to the 14th of January 2024. Really bizarre things sometimes happen in my noggin. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so somebody has been from the spirit world is talking about their days in the war and they're talking about a bomb that they found a bomb and they wanted to i shouldn't say that actually should i um bath one you know the bath ones the ones that fizz yeah that so anyway they were trying to they this this company found it um and there's a story that goes behind that that they were telling their family so how bizarre is that? But if this does resonate with you, can you please share it? Um, can you share it on here? That would be amazing because then I don't appear to be so so crazy. Um, but yeah, that's what they're saying. Um, there is a somebody in the spirit world just wants to say hi. And, you know, they had many, many stories to tell. OK, and, uh, you know, they'll they'll be able to talk more to you when it's your turn to meet up in that wonderful place. Um, spirit world place okay but not yet you've got lots to do yet okay so Leo's beginning of um, this next week 
Um, justice, okay, the justice card can be about legal matters, official paperwork, contracts, getting your justice, sometimes it can mean. Linking with the world, now the world card, wonderful card, um, because it says that everything's turning out beautifully. So if you have had any issues with the law, um, with legal things, with getting um, you know, justice in some way, um, then these are very good cards. If there's a question about that, then I'm going to say that it's a big yes here. Okay, it's yes, it's going to be great, it's going to be fine. Um, but they are saying you do need to protect yourself and look after yourself. It's not just going to drop in your lap. You're going to have to fight, maybe. You're going to have to stand up for yourself. Um, you know, just uh, be awake and aware of your rights and of what needs to be done. So on the other hand, it could be to do with, um, you know, somebody getting contracts to their home or it can be and they're just saying you need to get insurance, make sure there's insurance. Or it could be about, you know, somebody, um, I don't know, exams. OK, it could be exams. So um, but either way, we've got the world card, which is great news. OK. Um, so this has come up quite often, so I'm going to show it. So we've got the hanged man, which is life is upside down. So this is a global meaning to this because it's I literally have seen this about six times so far. Um, and remember that I this is a second video, so it might you haven't done it for six times. This is my second video um, because the first one I had to delete because of Mo <laughs> um, deciding to cause havoc and um, so yeah you're looking at things from upside down you're trying to work things out um, I truly believe that this world um, and the world's you know the white hats are being um, blackmailed at the moment um, they are literally saying um, if you don't I feel get him Mr T off the ballots if you don't if you don't do as we're taught you're told um, you know, we're going to muck about with the weather. Uh, we're going to cause flooding. We're going to cause fires. We're going to cause earthquakes. We're going to cause all this sort of thing. And I feel that the White Hats are standing their ground. They are not backing down, okay, which is exactly what we need. And I know that sounds awful. And I know that, you know, it's going to cause so much disruption and things. But we have to get out of their control. And we are nearly there. We are very much nearly there. So anyway, Leos, um, walking on eggshells, OK, around things being disrupted and upside down. So this is in a small way, a small portion of this um, in everybody's lives where we're having to maybe see things differently. When someone says to you, are you happy? I'm going to ask you that, right? Ready? Are you happy? You? You who's watching this, how would you answer that? Are you happy? If you take too long to answer, then maybe this is the year to get happy. This is the year to find that pure happiness, that happiness that makes your heart sing. Whether that's with being around animals, whether that's being around, I don't know, the countryside, um doing arts and crafts you know um making things repairing things decorating um cooking gardening whatever it whatever it is there's got to be something that makes you happy that makes your heart sing okay and it's like that's it okay try not to rely on other people to make you happy I'll only be happy if I meet my perfect partner. I'll only be happy if I find, um, you know, my perfect job or I'll only be the, the energy that it, it needs to be. I'm I'm in high vibrational energy of being grateful for being here right now, this minute in my life. And that's hard to understand. But when you're then vibrating on a high vibrational energy and all these then wonderful things come to you. But if you're on a low, you know, there's timelines, okay? When I do these readings, there's timelines. So you might have a reading and the reader has said you're going to meet somebody, you're going to do this and do that. And it's like, okay, 
but that, that person then never changed their life. They never met the universe halfway. They will keep constantly moaning and moaning about not got this, angry with the world for not giving them this, for other people getting more than they do. Um, that's on your low vibrational energy. You were going to get what you wanted, get what you needed. If you kept your vibrations high, that's your choice. That's not the reader's fault. It's your choice. Um, and so I'm not saying that I've had people come back to me and complain about it. Um, I haven't had that. Um, but, you know, sometimes that that is the case where people are still waiting for that love, that epic love. So gratitude, happiness, high vibration and send your signal out with those candles that I just said about candle magic candles okay green for finances or for finding love healing your heart rose quartz or rose colored candles pink candles um, or red candles for passion maybe you want your passion back in your in your um in your marriage okay maybe you want I don't know, passion back in life, you know, red is the vibration color. So, you know, um, yeah, they're just saying, don't just think that things are just going to dump straight in front of you. You have to do some work as well. Um, but yeah, you have been walking on eggshells. There has been things upside down. So it's like what was happening has like is on pause. And then we're waiting for it, looking forward to it. And then again, another obstacle. So, um, Good start to the week, middle of the week, a bit like, ugh, you know, really. Um, but then here comes again. So your vibrations again go up. OK, so um, this proves that your vibration energy works. OK, so you've clearly heard what I've said about the middle of the week and turned it around by the end of the week because we've got ten of pentacles money coming to you. You've got the two of wands, which is planning a structure of how I become happy, how I get what I want in life, stepping stones one at a time. And this is about boundaries as well. Don't let other people drain you. So you might be feeling really, really happy and really high vibrational energy. And then somebody puts you in a bad one. Do you then go, I'll stay like this today. I'm just in a pissed off mood. I'm going to stay like this. Or do you say, oh, sort of that. Anyway, what a, what a nice day. Look at the sunshine. Look at this. If it's raining, just say, it's watering the plants. The plants are going to be um, really healthy. You know, there's got to be some other way of looking at things. So anyway, that's Leo's. I'm not saying I don't get down. I'm not saying I don't get peed off days. Today, I had to cancel my family dinner, going around to my family to see my grandchildren because I was having one of those days. Um, but you have to, you know, we've got to give in sometimes and allow ourselves to have those. Um, but don't let it last too long and get, get back out there. So anyway, that's um, Sagittarius. That's for Leo's. We're going to do Sagittarius now. Okay, Sagittarius 4, 8. 20, 4, 8, 20. Okay, so we do Sagittarius, then Aries. Okay. Tuning into Sagittarius. All righty. Okay, so decisions on money matters, the beginning of this week, you've got the seven of pentacles, it's always a bit of a gamble. Um, so look, he's got two choices in his hands, I can either do this, or I can do that. You know, what do I do? Uh, whatever I have been doing, it's kind of not working, really, I'm not getting enough money in, or it's not not making me happy. So it's like, what do I do? Keep planting it the same or doing exactly the same as I'm doing? Or do I want to set a challenge? And maybe with this pentacle, I'll put all the other pentacles in, but this one pentacle I'm going to pull out and I'm going to plant it in a plant pot and make something different. So um, I do feel as if that is going to be, you know, one of the decisions that you're making. Um, for people who do crafts, then that might be, I don't know, I'm going to start, you know, 
I don't know, making soap, which I am actually. I bought all the stuff to make soap. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, or I'm going to make, I don't know, resin. I'm going to make pyramids or I'm going to do, it's like, but, and, and that's what you were doing, but you're also now going to do this. So it feels as if it's like you're doing something in addition to what you're already doing. It is going to bring you comfort and joy. So, you know, there is creativity energy around you and a chance to look at the future, a chance to say, you know, this can develop into something more. Um, your spiritual side is getting stronger and stronger, brighter and brighter, shining your light out there um, for others to see. It is um, addictive, really. When you've got, you put yourself on that high vibrational energy and you're watching love coming to you from other people, from complete strangers, from, you know, walking down the street and having nice conversations. You know, you might get one person who's a complete arsehole, but that's okay. <laughs> but most of the time, you'll get love vibrational back, okay? Um, so yeah, your mood affects other people. So be aware of that as well. So if you have woken up in that bad mood or in that angry mood, you are spreading that energy around to others. Um, so we do have to, spiritual people have to be aware of that as well. You know, um, do you really want to mess somebody else's day up? Okay. It is just a switch, different way of looking at things. Um, so you've got the six of pentacles, which is about juggling that money again. So I do feel that this is all part and parcel of this, maybe changing your job, um, doing working different hours. Um, this can be starting that little business that you've always wanted to start, or you've already got a business started up and maybe you want to advertise it or market it in a different way. You were advertising on here, but you're going to advertise it on there and maybe on there as well. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely self-employment energy around you guys, Sagittarius, as well. It, I'm also feeling a lot more little businesses starting up from everybody, really, as a collective. Um, so love life getting a bit spicy, okay, for some of you Sagittarians. Yeah, it feels as if things are hotting up. Um, it can also mean if you aren't necessarily in to a love life energy and you, you, you know, this can be being passionate about life or passionate about um, what it is that you're doing. OK, um, so passion can be in all different ways, can't it? Um, but there is a celebration of love around as well. Um, so it's a wonderful feeling of, you know, other people showing you affection as well and kindness um you are celebrating you've got the three of wands which is celebration celebration of the achievement that you have achieved ace of pentacles new money new money new new opportunities new money new finances um you know that could be promotion extra responsibility within a job um starting something that will develop into an income all right um um, putting more experiences um, out there in your um, in your life so that it looks good on a CV, maybe, you know, it's like, well, it's going to earn me some some brownie points later on. So I might not have earned anything out of it. But my goodness, there's a, a damn good opportunity um, that I'm going to use later on. OK, so that was for Sagittarius. OK, so. So Aries now, okay. And um, this is um, again. I have to keep saying the da the uh, dates because it uh, it tells my guides to read for that specific uh, part of, of the future. Okay. So the eighth through to the fourteenth of January, twenty twenty four. Okay. So I'm building up the energy now for Aries. So let's have some good affirmations going into Aries. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, I'm seeing somebody getting into either woodwork or has got a feeling that they might want to try making things out of wood or sanding down 
old bits of furniture, um, you know, making it good, you know, bits of furniture. I'm seeing kind of like um, literally putting love back into something old. So yeah, that's a, it's a, it's a good thing. And I feel as excited about it. Okay, so um, sometimes these random things are for that one person that's watching. It's like, yeah, that's me. Um, and sometimes it's for others. And I just want to say, thank you all for your feedback. You are, you know, you, you make my heart sing with it. Um, I appreciate that so much. So if anybody does want to send me some feedback, um, you know, go to, um, if you can, go to psychicalley.net. Um, and there's a contact me button on there and I appreciate it and I copy and paste it and put it onto um, my feedback um, form okay so yeah okay so your spiritual side's really starting to grow really starting to come out you're you're using your intuition you didn't realize that you had maybe this gift but hey it's here um, you know you're having some proof about you know what it is that you have been doing or picking up it's like uh, wow okay um you know there was no way i would have known that information i've just told you about it okay there's celebration of love around you aries um so this is where somebody is shining appreciation at you um this this is like somebody saying i appreciate you i love you thank you so much um, now, that is also going to work the other way around. So there are going to be people in your life where you feel as if they do deserve you to tell them, you know, hey, I appreciate you as well, you know. Um, and so, yeah, it's uh, it's time. It's time to, to not just accept someone's kindness and help, but to feel it and to shine it back okay it is really that that's the time that's where our energies are going to shift up and up and up and as the collective you think it's just you no it's all of us as a collective um, and the lighter we are the more the darkness disappears because it can't survive in the light it can't survive in the love energy it just really can't it's like um always reminds me of wizard of oz when they chuck a bowl of water over the witch and she just dissolves <laughs> that is how i see the negative side of things so it's all happening it's all happening okay there is self-employment in your cards as well aries so um somebody out, out out there is thinking of starting more um with their psychic abilities okay um maybe maybe being a reader maybe being a therapist um, something is happening. It's all happening. Okay. Greg and I have got some really good ideas about how we can network with other psychics. Oh yeah. Um, to create, um, psychic, um, in 5d psychics. Okay. In 5d psychics. So, um, you know, watch this space. Okay. Um, watch this space that is going to be coming up. So, you know, obviously, we, obviously, I, I do future predictions, but there are lots of people out there who are wanting mediumship. They're wanting to tune in and, and get messages from their spirit loved ones. So why not open this up? So if you're a psychic out there and you would like to be part of our network, um, please contact us, okay? please contact us. And all we're going to do is ask everybody to sign like a code of conduct just to say, we will not be talking about anything um, like um, serious illness or worse. Okay. Um, so that the people who are having readings can really um, feel relaxed about it. Okay. So yeah, um, tune in. But there is somebody out there who's seriously thinking about this, okay? We've got, this is my self-employed card, okay? Always has been, you know, we all have the, our quirky ways of looking at it, okay? You know, this person kind of builds the energy up, okay, in their own business. And then there's the Hierophant, which is spiritual teacher. Um, so, yeah, more coming from that, okay? Celebration of love, celebration of happiness, okay? alongside that another three so you've got the three 
three of cups, which is celebration of love. Um, and then you've got three of wands, which is I'm doing really good. You know, I'm so proud of myself. Um, so don't forget to tell your inner child how proud you are of them. If you've done a good job, then you need to say, we did a good job. We did. We did a good job. And watch how that makes you feel inside. It's got a fizzy feeling inside. OK, the Ace of Pentacles, new job, new money, new opportunities. OK, they're all starting to come up now. Don't be surprised if someone's not said, I want to give you this job or I want to hire you for this or I want to book you for that. Watch out for those. Um, it's all, all happening. And that will move on to new things as well. The three celebration of uh, yourself. Four is onwards and upwards. Next level up. OK, and that is all linked with work, money, the ability um, of, you know, getting jobs done, getting things done. OK, so that can be as simple as, um, you know, you having things that you're doing at home, you know, organisation, um, clearing out drawers or cupboards. And then you think really proud of yourself. It can be small like that or it could be, you know, you've just started a new business or you've just been given a new promotion. OK, so this one's coming about as well. And I would say this really, you know, I can't help it. This card's coming out. Uh, juggling of money. What does everybody do in January after Christmas? Uh, no wonder this is coming out. But I can't get away. Pentacles is money. Pentacles is money. What is he doing? He's definitely juggling. So, you know, we do this, don't we? Um. So there's also a character close to you at this time that you're going to be around around the end of um, the yeah the end of this next week. So this will be around the 14th of January, 13th, 14th of January. I'm seeing this person around you who is dissecting everything, analysing everything. I feel as if it's like an inspector or it's someone like a busybody person. OK. Um, and you're having to jump through some hoops for this person who's surveying or looking into things. Um, keep thinking positively, um, but it might be a little heads up that this may be something coming up um, and uh, to get organised beforehand. So sometimes they can help you. OK, um, you know, so so it's not such a surprise. OK, Aries. All right, so talking about inspections, organisation, so that you feel in control rather than out of control. Okay, so we're going to the earth signs now. So we're halfway along. Um, we're halfway along. Um, if there is anybody who does want a reading with myself, you can go to psychicalley.net and uh, there are 30 minute readings, hour readings, um, or there's two hour readings, 90 minute readings. I'm doing a year forecast and I only do them through the month of January for the year. So you would go January through to January. OK, I stop those. I cancel those at the big at the end of January is uh, the last time that I do those. So um, but if you do want those, they're there. OK, uh, I think it's one hundred dollars, I think, for 90 minutes. OK, so. Um, yeah, it, it's good because it gives you, it, I go through month by month by month, okay, um, that, so Taurus, okay, Taurians, Taurians, yes, 103, 103, okay, so Taurus, what is coming up for, for you, Taurus, so Taurus like to do things in their own time. They don't really like someone saying, have you done it yet? Um, they can be stubborn and they can say, I'm going to go slower now because you asked me. Um, they can be stuck in their ways. They like routine. OK, so these are a typical Taurus. Not necessarily everybody is a typical. Um, but uh, anyway, let's see. OK, so this is the 8th through to the 14th of January. There we go, Taurus. 
Okay, so we've got the strength card. Okay, strength card has many different meanings. It all depends on what cards are around it. But this can mean um, being frustrated, um, being angry, but it can also be having strength to get through. And sometimes we need to get angry so that we can catapult ourselves forward. Um, it's linking to finances and jobs, okay, and learning maybe, you know, to go it alone with your jobs, okay, choosing to maybe, um, you know, do more um, on the side jobs, you know, maybe selling off things that you've got that you think, why am I keeping this? I don't need it anymore, okay. Um, but yeah, this the strength card with that, I would say, is is having the courage and strength to move past any blocks or things that are holding you back there okay um but it is you know you've got the capability of earning money um of getting what you want okay your spiritual and your psychic ability is getting so so strong um so for some of you it will be your your psychic wisdom um for others of you it will be that you're just noticing you know, maybe taking more notice of beautiful things in nature or, you know, insects, um, you know, going about their business and you're just watching them for a little bit, um, you know, working out what the universe is trying to tell you, okay, maybe concentrating on your dreams. So, you know, the spiritual awakening can be in lots of different ways, okay. So that's the beginning of the week. By the middle of the week, now, the middle of the week, we've got the three of cups, which is about celebration of love. It can be love, lust. It can be ad admiration. Um, it can be a family get together. OK, depends on what other cards are around it. Well, it is the seven of cups. So this does turn it into um, a family get together or um, or a love life drama. OK because I feel tormented by my emotions. I feel tormented for, you know, trying to um, find out um, more about this person. What are they thinking? What are they doing? I don't know. It's like I've got crickets, um, you know, going off in my head. You know, I'm feeling alone. Or it can be that you're picking up on your perfect partner and thinking they're not to be seen. Where are they? Um, you're trying to look ahead, trying to plan ahead, look ahead um, to see where love is. OK, now, for those of you who aren't looking for a relationship, um, this is the meaning of these cards for you. Um, so this is about looking at your future. It's about making some plans to maybe make more friends. Um, you are in a situation where you've been hurt, maybe by friends or you don't want to um, have the wrong friends around because the wrong friends is going to be just as lonely as having as being alone just because you know if you can't communicate with them so it is about human contact I feel going on with Taurus energy okay so by the end of this next week you've got the seven of wands which is universe bring it on I'm ready for you okay what are you going to do for me what are you going to do OK, sometimes things start to change and we have to sometimes look at things from um, a different perspective, um, knowing that things are changing, that it's not always going to be the same. Um, you know, the world card's going to come up, but I do think that there's going to be a lot of a lot more natural disasters out there. I'm afraid there's going to be a lot more. And you can't say it's going to be you've got to move from this place because it's going to be there. Um, I feel as if we're under attack, um, you know, we're under attack from people who can manipulate the weather and um, they're using it as a weapon and don't think that they have not done it ever to, ever before because they've done it in Vietnam, in the Vietnam WAR, they did, um, they have admitted it as well. They've admitted about geo, admitted about that. Um, so there's a lot of manipulation going on. Look up H-A-A-R-P. Um, maybe look up that. Um, if you can't get enough answers on YouTube, sometimes it might be time to go over to Rumble or Telegram or TikTok even are getting loads of information. But, you know, the world card comes up at a good time to say that, you know, 
things are moving on and changing. Um, you feel sometimes I don't want to hear this information. Sometimes it's like, you know, why are you telling me these things? Um, information is power. The way that these people have got away with things up until this point is because nobody was talking about it. They was doing it under the radar and they were herding us like sheep into their manipulation. OK, we don't want to keep doing that. We don't want to keep doing that. It's, it's, it's not it's not right. So this this what's happening now is it's our judgment and time in our lives to wake up wake up now you know we've been asleep for a bit too long now and um, so yeah i think taurus there's going to be a huge awakening going on around you i feel um especially but that's others as well okay so i'm sorry to get a bit you know but when it comes in it's got to come out i'm afraid <laughs> that's kind of the way it is not everything is fluffy and wonderful i wish it was I really do. Okay, so um, so we're going to do Virgos. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the. This is the beauty of recording it. It means I can pause it and go and do something and then come back. So <laughs> um, I'm going to pause it and I'll be back in a minute with Virgos. Okay, Virgos. So. What is going on with you guys? You guys like to plan ahead. You like to kind of have a little kind of agenda of what you're going to do, how you're going to do it. You know, it's like forward thinking, forward planning. It's kind of your, your Virgo's energy. Eighth through to the to this 14th of January, 2024. Okay, I'm just going to go quiet just to tune into Virgo's energy. Okay, is somebody out there thinking of getting chickens? It's bizarre things. Um, because I really feel as if, um, you know, there's there's a need to kind of expand maybe, um, you know, the food and things, you know, wanting to get a bit more healthy and a bit more in control of your own intake of food. Um, so, yeah, there's some, somebody thinking of that. Okay. Um, I've got a question actually about chickens. Um, so can you have um, like chickens without a rooster? Do you have to have a rooster? Um, will the chickens still lay eggs if they don't have a rooster? Um, I know that might make me sound thick, but I really do don't know, you know, because we don't necessarily, you know, you don't want them fertilized, do you really? Um, if you're just having them um, just for, yeah, anyway. That's a question. Perhaps somebody can answer me in the in the comments here. Let me know. You know, okay. But uh, yeah, someone's. It's a big thumbs up from um, the spirit world. Whoever's thinking of um, getting chickens. Virgos, Virgos. Beginning of this next week, um, it's time to say well done. It's time to say. Didn't I do amazing? I can't believe it. I've turned out to, to have achieved more than I ever thought possible. So chuffed, so chuffed. Um, so yeah, there's a lovely feeling um, and um, yeah, you can't get away from it. You can't get away from that joy, okay? I do feel joy. Um, someone's got a job, got a new job. Someone's been offered promotion, got a new job. Um, there's some more money coming in and some good news around money. Um, it can be that you've decided to spend your money differently, in which case you've just, you know, um, added in something good. It could be that you've paid off something and now you've got to, uh, that's a point, I've got to write a note to myself saying contact three because my contract's finished and I'm still paying for the higher rate. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not a Virgo, but see what I mean? They just tell you things. Um, so, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, new job, new money, new finances, celebration, three of wands. Yes, I've done it. Now, the strength card, with these two positive cards, we carry on with the strength card, which says, I have had the ability and strength to push on through 
any time I felt blocked, I felt as if I'm never going to get anywhere, never going to do anything. And then here I am. Look at what I've achieved. Look at what I've done. So, yeah. Um, so when we give ourselves a compliment, um, you don't realise the um, you don't realise the effect that it has on your um, on your higher self, on your inner child. You know, you can have compliments all the way around you, um, but until you accept them and you can see it for yourself, uh, your confidence levels is not going to go up. Okay, once again, once again, we've got the self-employment card, okay? Um, so there is going to be some self-employment energy or selling things, um, you know, buying things, selling things, doing something um, that is going to bring in more income. Um, I can see that I feel tormented. I'm trying to get through to somebody close to me, somebody who is in the family or it's my close friend, you can feel them drifting away. You can feel them going through something that's really painful. And it's like, how do I help them? What can I do? Um, and uh, it's like I'm, I'm trying to think of ways of making them feel stronger, feel happier. OK, um, hope. We all need hope. OK, 2024 comes along and decision making time about a change of direction in your mindset okay do you want the same 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 as what you've had it might be that you do because you've got so much happiness okay around you in which case why not have more um but uh, if when i ask the question are you happy and inside you was like i'm not sure i am um i can hand on heart say i'm happy I'm happy. There are things in my life that aren't perfect, but deep down I'm happy. So what is happening with you? In which case, let's all make it a mission to find that happiness. And that's what I see here. It's looking ahead, looking purely at the future and seeing where you're going to go, what you're going to do. You've got this, sometimes we feel tormented by our own emotions. We feel tormented by everybody wants um us for something it's like you know i feel as if i'm being taken for granted or you know i'm not being appreciated and um i feel this is around the workplace there is something to do with work and i feel as if somebody is really getting ready to leave i'm, I'm afraid getting ready to leave or at least reduce their hours and go it alone okay this is really strong OK, you've already had a boost financially at the beginning of the week. There's a big decision about the, the middle of the week about, you know, what do you do? Maybe you don't even accept this, um, this op uh, option, financial option, you know, this promotion. Maybe it's, uh, it's, it's that you've had a boost in your, um, in your outside work, you know? Yeah, you are confused. OK, there's a lot of confusion energy, Virgos, because you're trying to think ahead. You're trying to dissect things and say, OK, so if I do this for this month and then that month and then I'll be ready to do this for this month. So you are really looking at your long term future and your short term future. There is celebration of love around you, um, Virgos. So somebody is being very affectionate, more affectionate than normal. And I'm sensing this may be a new relationship or a boost within an existing relationship. If you're single, then this will be something linked with compliments and a feeling of, you know, did that person look at me that way? Um, or were they looking at me that way? What was it? You know. And it's like that boost of confidence energy that's coming your way, I feel, um, Virgos. Yeah. OK, so there you go. So, so there's Virgos. So we're going to go on to Capricorns now. 119. OK, so Capricorns, Capricorns. Here we go. 
All right, so after Capricorns, we've then got three signs left, which is Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Okay, so I'm just going to tune in to Capricorn. That didn't want to go in. Um, that's the independent card. Um, maybe spend, spend, spend independently, not telling anybody else what you're spending the money on. Trying to do something privately, secretly. Um, yeah, so let's see what else we've got. Okay, onwards and upwards, the four of wands. Okay, this to me says I've got a, I've got my eye on the target, um, on my ambitions. Something that you've decided that you're going to um, achieve. You're going to start that project because after that project, you've got another project. Um, you're ready to. Um, to achieve this or go for that so yeah it's very structured energy starting off the beginning of this next week okay you have been a bit bored and restless that doesn't mean to say that you've been slacking or you haven't had much time um sometimes it's about not doing the things that you want to do okay wanting to do things that you you're excited about okay um, so you have been kind of smiling and saying everything's fine, it's all good, but inside there's a little part of you that's kind of like shriveling away and just not coming out of its shell. So um, it's about, you know, what does your inner child want? What makes your inner child happy? And um, some people it's creativity, um, you know, maybe, I don't know somebody's going to be writing a book as well i'm being told um, there's going to be several book writings with our in 5d family members i've already picked up on quite a few but it's going to be a lot more of that as well um but you know some people they're going to be um you know writing um in a journal or a diary some people are going to be drawing sketching um painting maybe um, so yeah creativity or you know doing something that the inner child thinks is great okay somebody's going to be announcing they're pregnant okay there's a pregnancy announcement now this isn't going to be for every Capricorn okay um, but this will be for you know somebody close to you um, you know that so you know for others of you so for some of the Capricorns this is going to happen but for others it this can be um things coming to fruition um good harvest i've put lots of energy in and here is the outcome of that i'm stepping onto new ground so i'm trying different things trying different skills um maybe i want to train in something maybe i want to invest more time um so that i can get even better okay i, I do feel this is um yeah, it's all about progress, okay? But yeah, with that lovely uh, pregnancy, um, it's like uh, somebody talking about pregnancy um, and wishes and dreams. Um, but for others, it is, you know, reward is coming back to you because of hard work. And this then gears you up to wanting to try new things and to develop new things because of your success. Okay, so you've got the full card again, which we've had this quite a few times along with the seven of wands okay so you're about to do something that is like a leap of faith like I don't know why I'm doing it but yes I'm going to do it okay um so this is also about the universe you know daring the universe to bring you something to get your teeth into to um, get you excited and motivated about your future and your plans for your future we do have to have a shake up though sometimes we have to let go of things in our life that are no good um um i had a talk with an old friend um sometimes when i felt as if i was overwhelmed i was overwhelmed with jobs and work and things like that and i remember that she said about a marketing thing which is um it's called cost cows now, I don't know if you've got it in America, but this was your cost cows. So, C-O-W cows. 
So um, say if I did this free and that free or I, and I did or I did that and I didn't get paid very much for it, but it took up that much time and da, da, da. and uh, basically it's cutting it down into the value of what you get from it. And there are times when, you know, we go, you know, I'm doing this and I'm not appreciated anyway. So what's the point of doing it? You know, if nobody else wants to do it, then why am I putting myself out there? You know, because it's not financially viable either. So um, sometimes it's about making harsh decisions about freeing up your time. Um, and another friend of mine said, Ali, I always admire you because you reinvent yourself every now and again. So every time, you know, there's something dies off or changes and it's like, OK, I'm going to ease out of that one. I'm going to finish that one. I'm going to open up here um, and try something different. And, you know, that's what I feel is going to be happening with a lot of people. Um, it's like that wasn't working. OK, so what? I'll do this then, okay? Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Don't take it so harsh. You know, um, everyone's got their own things to do, um, and it's okay. But, yeah, you know, the full card, doing it, getting on with it, taking that leap of faith. But it might come with you having to shut down a few programs or doing something different. Um, I can't do that anymore, but I can do this, you know? It's like um, look at your time as a as a pie chart remember which pie chart um look at it 25 percent doing this and 30 percent doing that and yeah so um think of that um and sometimes we have to you know have a reality check and i think that's what you're going to be doing capricorns okay this next week okay 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 so we've got um this last part this water water signs now um, and we're going to be doing, um, we'll start with Scorpio, then we do Pisces and then Cancerians, as we usually do. So with Scorpios, um, that's my daughter, Rhiannon. Okay, so um, she's the one that's pregnant, bless her, um, at the moment. I'm so happy. This will be my, what will it be? My sixth, this will be my sixth grand, grandchild. And uh, we've got a, a little girl coming again. So, yay! Um, well, Logan's left to help. Really. He's, he's on his own. I've just got one boy. All the rest are girlies. All right. So, um, Scorpios, Scorpios, Scorpios. I'm going to tune in and see and feel how what's going to be happening. This is the 8th through to the 14th of January 2024. My daughter Rhea is a very good reader. Megan can read as well, my other daughter. And my mum is a brilliant reader. So yeah, we've all got we've all got that. So it's funny. There's a lot of love going on, a lot of appreciation, a lot of love, um, spending time together, quality time, um, enjoying, you know, the conversations back and forth as well with each other. And I feel it's like my heart is singing, okay? Um, there seems to be a new routine that has started off in your life. It's like you've just implemented this new routine that has um, left everybody um, getting on far better or feeling, feeling really more um, appreciated and, and loved. Um, I've been watching this. I don't know if this is coming from there, actually, but I've been watching Superman, Super Nanny. And uh, yeah, it's um, this Jojo and uh, she's from the UK and she goes, she's doing a US one and uh, a UK one. And, uh, you know, she goes in there and she completely heals these these families. And um, yeah, I just feel as if there's something going on with either parenting with free time. If you haven't got children, how much time do you get off rather than someone else? You know, um, you know, are, are, is it unfair or not balanced with uh, chores and household jobs and things? Um, and uh, com communication lines are open with that. With that, 
Um, there is a complication though, because I do feel that although you know you're, it's you do things or you do jobs to your best ability, um, you know yours your your job might be a high um, you know uh, level of uh, of chores, but someone else is low, you know, so they'll do the job, but they're not doing it that well. So um, it's like, well, I can't do it the same way as you do your OCD, okay, but uh, I will help. Um, but yeah, so there seems to be a healthy compromise and a feeling of happiness and, and joy and glow. Okay, look at this, you've got the Ten of Cups, which is overflowing of emotions uh, for everybody um, and also feeling very happy for yourself as well or yourself, whoever your Scorpio is. Um, this is the OCD card where you're trying to make everything perfect. Sometimes we beat ourselves up because we want everything to be perfect. And sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Um, and then we also have the, the love. OK, so falling back in love with each other um, or falling back in love with your family. Maybe, you know, doing some family games at night. You know, why do we have to wait till Christmas um, to do these family games? Sometimes we should just do them. Um, in fact, I've just bought in some bits and pieces ready for me and my girls to do, you know, um, like family nights, board games and things. Um, so, yeah, we're excited about that. So, yeah, just this to me just feels as if there's a lot of other households that are um, rethinking the time that they're spending with other people in that, that, that they love okay look here we go again with the card seven of pentacles okay so financially are you happy with the job you're doing do you want to put more energy in what do you want to do with this new money new opportunity new money you know do you want to change things up is it time to expand your business is it time to take that gamble or do you want to keep it as it is really unsure and for for now this is the scorpio card look you've got the the scorpion here so this is funny enough this is your card so um your personality is saying well um don't push me don't corner me because i will sting you and um, so if someone's trying to pressurize you into maybe making a decision or pressuring you into doing what they think you should do probably gonna end up doing your own thing OK, you're not very good with that. Um, you don't like being told. OK. Mind you, not many people do. But uh, anyway, there seems to be something coming up around the middle of the week that you're going to be pushing back on um, and doing it your way, I feel. Um, so the two of swords is always it's like the ace of swords is the idea, the inspiration, the oh, that's that's what I've got to do or that's the answer to my question. Ding, 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 ding. And then it's the two is, OK, let's not tell everybody because they might steal my plan. But I'm going to get things ready um, I'm going to keep writing down my ideas and mulling it over myself. OK, so that's the that's the opportunity you're looking at. So there seems to be something something to do with changes, work, finances, um, career, um, organisation. OK, but you're not talking about it either outside of your friendship or outside of your um, family or, or something. It's like because you don't want it to be tainted by other people's opinions or ideas. OK, so it's very important that you keep dissecting. And by the end of this next week, you have realized that, yeah, there's a good potential of money. Um, I would say you know, if you're going to start a new business or spread your wings within your business, it's a really good idea, even though you're not actually going to go for a business loan. But maybe look up the paperwork and what you need to get ready um, to convince maybe a bank, um, you know, to um, to give you that funding, you know, write it all down. So you write down, you know, your income now, um, the, the outgoings. And then, you know, if you had this much money or if you did this, then you could earn this. Or if you expanded here, then this could. So it's like, and what's your competition? You know, so I really do feel as if, you know, you, I'm 
seeing somebody writing out this plan, okay, and making it, you know, become, you know, the stepping stones for it, okay, for the next challenge. But Ten of Pentacles, best card ever. There is somebody who will be drifting away from you, I'm afraid, Scorpio, is the end of the week. This person is somebody quite quite um, close to you, okay? And I feel that it is about, it's been going on for a while. Um, I don't feel as if this is a relationship split I'm talking about. This, when I pick up on this energy, it's more like an acquaintance or a friend. And we're kind of going, I just don't want it anymore. You know, um, I think I'm done with either them judging me or me feeling as if I've got to judge them because they're they're just a blinkered vision. So there you go. That's what I see for our Scorpio family out there. OK, so we're going to go on to Pisces. OK, so Pisces, let's write down the timestamp for Pisces. One is that 35 my eyesight 35 all right so pisces right, here we go. so we're starting out with a little bit of our ocd as well it's like i'm going to do it my way don't tell me what to do because i'm just going to do it the way that i want to do it you know, um, you might do it your way. I'm going to do it my way. Um, there's a Scorpio person going to be around you. Um, somebody who's got a bit of a sting in their tail. If they feel as if they're being cornered or maybe you're maybe asking too many questions or maybe you're kind of criticising them a bit much, they're going to go on the attack. And I can sense this person being closely around you and you starting to say, Oh, God, I can't even talk to you right now because um, you're going to take it, you know, the complete wrong way. Um, so communication lines around work, money, finances are a little bit tricky. OK, at the beginning of the week, um, there is somebody who's being a little bit possessive. Um, and I feel it's possessive of their time or your time. OK, I don't know which could be both. Um, and a feeling of you know, well, where do I fit in? And it's like, you're taking up the majority of my time. So it's silly for you to say, where do you fit in? You know, and maybe it's about making some changes. Um, I can see it's like I'm seeing tidy in, but I'm seeing it being bigger and more than ever. Okay, this tidying. Okay, um, there is some money coming to you. So I do see financial choices and changes. Um, and the ability to earn more money, okay, um, you know, the highest energy of timeline is for Pisces. Oh, I'm Pisces, I just remembered. Yeah, <laughs> at the beginning of next week. So that is all good. Okay, so weighing up the pros and the cons, um, weighing up, you know, um, I don't want to take on anything that's too heavy and can slow me down or can be too... Um, you know, take on too much pressure on my shoulders. But equally, um, I've got to be able to um, achieve what I want to achieve. So sometimes it, it's like I can either work more hours or I can work cleverly. I can be more clever. I can, I can um, you know, change this and do that in order to earn this. So a lot of January and February, looking at all these readings now we've got only a couple of readings left um it is about i mean obviously you know we've had to spend out a lot of money um at christmas now we don't have to but we tend to do so um and uh, so january is usually in my opinion i've been kind of uh, reading the, the cards for about 30 35 years now and so when you uh, when you look at it in every time this time of year, it is about recouping back and finding new ideas to make money. Um, so, um, yeah, sometimes we have to look at things from a quirky angle, a different angle. Um, I can still see when I when I tune in new inventions, new stories to be written about marketing. 
um, about, you know, how do other people market their business? What do they do in order to get, um, you know, more than uh, the more customers or to, you know, get get seen more? And I feel as if I'm walking on eggshells around a certain person who's stuck in their ways um, and they don't believe that we should be doing this or that. They're kind of going, no, it's always been done this way and we we should we can't change it. And it's like, yeah, but we need to, we need to enhance things and move forward. Okay. Oh, I've just realized if you would like a mini reading. <laughs> We're not doing the mini readings today. So I've put up the wrong banner. Whoops. That's been going all this time. So I do apologize. Anybody who's been watching this and going, oh, I want a mini reading for we'll come on and do those though. I promise we will do those let's put my uh where is it i'm sorry about this there you go that's my patreon so let's put up that for now <laughs> so some of these have changed a little bit and and i've got new ones to go on there okay so thank you everybody my patreon family um yeah so it's like i'm i'm kind of tippy toeing around situations okay um, linking to ideas on business, ideas on money. You know, if you've got a, a pot and you're putting both incomes into a pot, sometimes we have to have our say about how things are spent, what things are spent on. And um, otherwise, it's like, let's go back to separate bank accounts. And I can hear somebody talking about this um, and saying, you know, you're overspending here or you're not doing this here. So, yeah, it's... Um, you know, it can be, you know, ourselves giving ourselves a talking to as well. So um, my daughter's got quite a good setup. I think it's Monzo. Is it Monzo? I think so. I'm not sure. Um, but say her food shopping, instead of having, she only puts into her, this one account that she uses her debit card for shopping, she only puts in the exact amount that she needs at the cashier desk and then she pays for that um, so she doesn't have an overspend um, of things um, and she has little pots for everything so you know we've got um, this much money for clothing allowance next month uh, we've got this much for food we've got this much for petrol you know so I think it's a really good idea but uh, that's what it's just come to me. So obviously somebody's having this conversation. Um, yeah, Pisces um, next next week. So that's the middle of the week. By the end of the week, end of the week, new um, plans. OK, these plans are about putting some boundaries up between you and other people. And sometimes other people overstep our boundaries and we end up end up getting annoyed with them. Whereas if we said right from the beginning, hey, I just don't like that. I don't like you being a bit too touchy feely with me or my loved ones. Um, you know, you're overstepping the mark. You know, please don't do that. Um, so I feel that there's going to be a little bit more vocal energy. Um, and please ask spirit guides and everybody to um, to say the right thing at the right time. Um, now, um a, a light blue crystal um like blue lace agate would be good for that um speaking softly gently um blue lace agate um an opalite um you know blue quartz uh turquoise would be good um you know there's just a pale pale blue okay um so that would help anyway um yeah, I'm seeing paperwork. I'm filling out forms or documents as well about something that I'm doing. And I, I, it's like I want to say, yes, I've done it. Other people are saying, well done. Congratulations. We know how hard you've worked and you've got it. You've done it. So there seems to be recognition and reward. Um, and I'm seeing that around you. So that can be either to you or you're doing that to someone else. Recognition and reward. And a feeling of being proud, a feeling of being happy, a feeling of being, wow, this is amazing. You know, um, I'm so, I'm so chuffed with this. 
um, there is a little bit of saucy energy building up in love life. So um, they do say <laughs> um, that uh, December, January, there's always a boost um, around September for um, the new babies that arrive. Um, so a lot of people get a bit saucy around Christmas um, and January. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, it's coming up here. So that's quite funny. Um, so yeah <laughs> let's move on from there yeah shall we um so anyway yeah that's pisces okay so i'm going to stop my little recording and start a new one okay so i like to record my little uh, family's readings and um, i like to do that because um yeah just because um we we're all pisces we're all water signs so i'm um me and my mum are pisces hi mama um rhiannon my youngest is scorpio and my eldest um is megan and and she's cancerian so this is for our lovely meggy and um, so and for any other cancerians out there so 8th through to the 14th of january um, so this is the last one of this reading, okay, of this particular astrology. Okay, so I'm just going to tune in to Cancerian Energy. So remember what I say, that sometimes there is messages coming up, um, and these are for you, okay? Um, they're actually for for whoever's watching this, okay, there can be that. Um, I, didn't do 42. I didn't do the, uh, <laughs> I didn't put in the timestamp for that one. So let's give that another good go. So Cancerians, Cancerians, Cancerians. Beginning of the week for Cancer, first card out is their, their card, look. Uh, there's your crab there, so that's a Cancerian card. Um, the wounded healer, very good at giving advice, doesn't want anyone else to try and get in there and help them. Okay, they're like, I'm fine, I'm okay, don't worry about me. You know, so it's like that hard front there with the with the uh, the, the the crab. Okay, so and we walk sideways around situations, and we don't like confrontation. And uh, but we are protective. Oh, it's a, it's a um, the rain outside. I wonder what that was. I thought, oh no, he hasn't brought in a mouse or something. But uh, yeah, might even be hailstones or something. Yeah, probably hailstones. He'll be flying in in a minute. <laughs> Wet through, bless him. Yeah, so hard outer shell, vulnerable inside, protection. Okay, so they, they will protect other people. They sometimes don't necessarily protect themselves, um, but they will be there for others. Okay, new ideas, new inspiration. Just look out and wait for like that. It's like, oh my God, that's what I'm doing. That's it, that's it. Or that's the answer to my worry. Okay, I'm going to do that. Um, there seems to be a male character around you, somebody who is like a fatherly character or a masculine energy around you. And I'm sensing that this particular character, um, you are either worried about or you've been thinking about them um, and you're wanting to help them in some way. Um, yeah, it's it, good ideas are coming out um, regarding that. Um, it can be that you've got good ideas regarding maybe how to sort out an issue around a father figure fatherly character or something like that okay how we can protect ourselves from that um negative energy okay so um this is the middle okay so by the middle of um this uh, next week okay between the 8th and the 14th of january 
2024. Um, there is some travel plans. It's like knowing that you've got to go and travel a long distance, and that long distance is going to um, be quite a, quite a job. Okay. Uh, now here in England, our long distance, say from here to getting um, across our country completely probably the same distance as you guys in America getting from one state to another. <laughs> so, um, yeah, our long distance isn't necessarily the same. But um, for whoever this is um, relating to, Cancerians, um, there is some travel plans. I can see, um, you know, there being a character who's going to be coming up and going to be around um, you guys. And uh, this is... an. A person with lots of knowledge, lots of understanding, um, being able to give you the, the wisdom and knowledge that you need. So if there is any difficulty regarding these travel plans or, you know, um, going where you want or getting where you want to get to, um, this person is definitely going to step up and definitely going to be helping you. I feel that this character is very funny. Um, they've got a quirky sense of humour. Um, you know, sometimes you might not like their sense of humour, sometimes other people might not like it, but, you know, they are just a bit different. Um, again, you are ready to sort of like say no um, if you have to, but you might not need to. Um, it might just go swimmingly, okay? But, um, yeah, so this, this travel um, is, there's got a lot of emotions to it. This isn't just a little little holiday vacation. It's not that. There's something more to it. There is, you know, somebody sarcastic or, you know, can be triggering with their personality or sense of humour. Um, they can be very helpful and have all the answers to the questions that you're looking for. But um, sometimes you have to be on your guard. Maybe they go too over the top. Um, maybe they're very insensitive about the way that they talk about um what it is that they're talking about okay um so um you're going to be going through a big transition um um that at the end uh, sorry um you know at the end of next week sorry end of next week so around the 13th 14th of january there's going to be a lot of change i'm feeling you being really fired up about the jobs that you're doing um the the discipline of getting things done. Um, you're going to have lots of overflowing of emotions. You're going to be um, being on it when it comes to organising other people um, and taking control and charge. Um, I'm seeing you cutting out something that has been draining you, no good for you. Um, it's like, I'm going to stop that and I'm going to start this. You know, I've got to make this right, okay? Um, because it's like I'm overflowing of emotions, I'm overflowing of love, I'm overflowing of, you know, um, so many kind of um, problems and, um, you know, things that are laying heavy on you. I'm kind of overloaded with it. And unless I, I make some drastic changes and start to move forward, then my life isn't going to change. So I don't know where this kind of is coming from. Um, but we have the Queen of Wands. I'll try and show you the cards. The Queen of Wands is she's in control. She knows what she's doing. She's got an arrow on the target. Um, so it, and it's like I'm blinkered to get that. So this is about making yourself happy. In order to get happy, I've got to just be focused on that. Okay. And sometimes that means ending things and beginning of things. So I'm not even going to show you the card because everybody goes into into panic about it but this is what it means it means cutting out that starting this um changing the way that you think about this or you know yeah so it's big changes happening and then you've got the overflowing of emotions so it is going to be a complex time for cancerians but um you are also giving back other people's crap <laughs> so if someone's trying to dump their issues and try and pretend it's your problem you're going to say i think i'm going to give that back to you because i think there's more to this i'll t i'll accept that i am like this 
but you've got to take responsibility as well. So I do feel as if there's some very cutting words, some very outspoken words um, at the end of this next week. Um, and this is in a meeting, okay? This is a meeting maybe of doctor um, or somebody, some health professional. And it's like you're having to, you know, you know when a, a health professional is getting too above themselves and is not seeing things from the reality of your situation and from, you know, it's like, do I have to spell this out to you? And the answer is yes, I'm afraid you're going to. You're going to have to tell them absolutely straight in this, um, in this meeting. So it is going to make your, your blood boil a bit, uh, Cancerians. But sometimes, you know, these things are sent to try, as they say, don't they? Um, but uh, I would say by the, the beginning of next week, um, it's all about progress from there. Um, but sometimes we have to get rid of that problem first before we can see the bright future ahead of us. Yeah, but uh, there you go. So I hope that was OK for you all. Um, so... There's a lot of love coming from me to you. Um, thank you, thank you so much. Um, if anybody does want to support this channel, um, patreon.com in 5D to support Greg, or you can support me, um, patreon.com forward slash psychic alley. Um, so keep telling Greg, what do you guys think? Um, in order to get more Patreons, sometimes people want to support me and him but can't afford to do both. And I get that, I do. So I said, why don't we have one like um, tier for, on in 5 d for both of us? So I could do a little reading, you know, at, on his Patreon and maybe he does a little reading and that's something on his patreon and that is a shared one what do you think do you think that might work anyway um i i'm gonna stop this now and uh, get some rest it is now 6 37 a.m here in the uk um it's all ass about face anyway what is tomorrow what day is it tomorrow monday monday uh, monday is usually my work day but i have a funeral to go to tomorrow so um, I find that it might not be worth me going to sleep um, at all. Um, so I might not do that and then sleep when I get home. But uh, I'm teaching tomorrow. So we're teaching is pendulums. So if anybody has a pendulum and want to do some pendulum practice and learn how to use their pendulum, um, scrying, okay, that's looking at the changes of your face, black mirror and things like that. Sometimes we can see our spirit guides or our loved ones, transfiguration. And um, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing tomorrow. So join, join us. Um, the information is in the extras here. I need to remember to go and do that because we don't automatically do it when you do this, uh, when I don't go live. When I go live, they give you the option to add everything. But um, I will go back and try and do that. If not, you can contact me on psychicalley.net. And I will, um, yeah, I'll give you all the information about that. But uh, yeah, Mondays, 7.30 p.m. UK till 10.30 p.m. UK. Um, that works at 2.30 p.m. start Eastern or 11.30 a.m. Pacific time every Monday. Pay as you go, five pounds, which works at around six dollars, something like that. Um, so yeah, pay as you go. Um, contact me on the um on facebook if we're friends on facebook or on the website and uh, i'll send you the zoom code all right and um, take care and uh, bye for now have a wonderful